I know this is an unorthodox way for me to make a video. I don't usually record on a phone that sort of resembles a potato in terms of camera quality, but here we are because, you know, my stupid car insurance agency decided to call me back days after I put in a thing that they really need to contact me and that uh, I, t I asked for a call back on Friday and they never called me back and so on. It took like three days for them to decide to call me back. And then the connection was poor, so I had to hang up and call back. But when I call back, oh, press 1 for English. No big deal. Press 1 for English. And then it's like, oh, well, you know, I press 1 or 2 for whatever, but it didn't matter which one I pressed, because no matter which one I pressed, guess what would happen? It would just ring and ring and ring, and no one would ever pick up. See, it used to be when you called, it would just ring their phones, but now, even during business hours, not when no one's there, but during business hours, the goddamn thing is sitting there just going, ah, thank you for calling agent's office, herper derp 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 So I got pissed off. After a few attempts, I got really pissed off and I called the other agent that's actually closer to me that I haven't been with for like two decades but that's a lot closer to me and I'm like can you can you transfer can you transfer my insurance from their agency to your agency yeah we can but the easiest way for you to do that is to call the national whatever helpline for the insurance company okay I call up the national helpline for the insurance company well guess what happens when I call the national helpline Okay, well, what are you doing? Here's like 30 options, and of course it's not option one for any of them. Uh, you know, oh, are you an existing policy holder? Is this right? Is that right? Is this right? Is that right? Jesus Christ, just let me talk to a fucking human being, for God's sake. So, I'm just doing the numbers. Beep, beep, beep. Enter your zip code. Why the fuck do you need my zip code? I just need to talk to a human fucking being, for God's sake. I just need them to change something. I'm going to have to tell it to them anyway. Oh, to protect your private information, tell the automated phone system your birthday. Okay, why do you need to know that? I haven't even talked to a person yet. Okay, but fuck you. I'll do the thing where I say my birthday. I can't even, like, key it in. I have to say it. Hope that it understands what I say. Thank God I don't have a vocal disability or something. Oh, okay. You take your birthday. That's cool. Brrr. All right, we'll, we'll put you through to a representative. Because um, after I tell it what I want and all this other stuff. And it, and it rings once, and then it goes, all our representatives are busy. I'm like, oh, God, out loud. And then it goes, great, is your phone number? And I'm like, did this thing seriously just try to do the crap where it calls me back? And it, and it interpreted me going, oh, God, as, yes, please do the callback. No, I want to wait on the fucking phone to talk to a fucking human being. Do you understand this? I want to wait on the phone until it's my turn. I don't want you to call me back when I'm in the middle of taking a dump and the phone's in the other room. So I got frustrated after a few minutes of this crap. I, I, there was no way to stop it. There was no way to say no. I even said stop. No. Quit. No. Star. Pound. Zero. Anything. No. So I just hung up. And here I am. Nothing has changed. I just spent 10 minutes just like looking at the phone being angry because I can't talk to anybody. Fuck phone systems. Fuck automated menu systems. Fuck interactive voice response. Interactive voice response systems are trash. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what some marketing firm says. I don't care if they're like, oh, IVRs help your customers out. And the only reason that IVRs are a bad thing is because you set yours up wrong. That's the only reason that your customers hate your voice responses. No, no. We hate your voice response systems. We hate your phone menu systems. We hate all of it. Because when we call your phone number, all that we want is to talk to a fucking human being. And if it's a human being that routes us to another human being, that's a thousand times more acceptable and useful than a menu system that we go through. None of that information is passed to the human being we talk to in the first fucking place. And then we don't even necessarily get to the right person. Oh. That department's busy, it gets bumped over to another department. Oh, you you had like six options and then six more options. That's 36 possibilities and you're in the XYZ department, but you needed to be in the YYZ department. I'll just transfer you now. And then either it gets cut off because their system's glitchy or whatever. I'm just tired of it. I'm so tired of it. Automation is a great thing. But when the automation is dealing with human beings that just need to say, I have a policy with you, that policy is at this agency that won't talk to me, 
I need you to transfer it to that agency that will talk to me. It'll take all of 60 seconds to give them the information that they need to do this shit. When that's all that there is involved, there's no reason that you need to insert this big, stupid, dumb shit computer system that answers the phone for you in between us. Just have a person answer the phone. Pay someone 15 bucks an hour to answer the phone and go, okay, beep, boop. And that's it. And you're done. You, you can even have a thing where it answers and says, do you want to use the menu system or go to a person? That would let people who just want to do things like simple stuff, like, oh, a balance inquiry? Yes, I'd love to ne not talk to anyone. Not talking to anyone sounds great today. Oh, you want to change something that's a little more complicated and we have to do all this verification, know your customer stuff? Okay, so you need to just talk to a person and not dick with the menu system. But it can't be that simple, can it? Because big corporations don't give a shit, especially insurance companies. Because insurance companies, you're forced to buy car insurance to own a car. The government forces you to buy the product, so you have to buy the product. And they know you have to buy the product, so there's no real competition. Because what are you going to do? Not pay for it? Well, now you get your license taken away, your license plate taken away, your registration, whatever, revoked. You are a slave to the government forcing you to buy this product. And they know that they can fuck you six ways from Sunday. However they want, they can fuck with you all they fucking want. Because you have to buy it. And if you don't buy it from them, oh, you'll go to another insurance agency that's the same fucking way? You'll go to the, this other place that behaves exactly the same as they do? Well, I'm with one of the... Actually, I think one of the most highly rated insurance agencies you can be with. And... I'm supposed to go to another agency and expect better when this is one of the highest rated? There's only like maybe two that are better in ratings. But how much better? Oh, well, do you think for one second they don't have a phone menu? They don't have an IVR? They don't have some stupid phone system that I'm going to have to deal with? Like, that, no, it's just, it's just not going to happen. No matter what I do, I'm going to be talking to a goddamn robot instead of a person. No matter who I go to, I know that any of these nameless, faceless, bastard corporations are just going to feed me into some dumb shit machine rather than giving me 60 seconds of a person's time. At $15 an hour, how much would that really be? How, much, how many resources is that human being going to take up? Let's see, $15 an hour divided by 60, that's a quarter. Pay someone a quarter... So that I don't have to deal with this shit. Thanks. Assholes.